Altitude Astrology and I'm bringing you another video and this one is going to be for the week of October 16th through the 23rd and I just wanted to touch on some happenings that are going to be occurring. It's actually kind of a busy week of uh, planetary connections so I want to uh, outline that for you all and I have the chart up of October 17th, which is tomorrow, Monday, and specifically in the evening time, uh, mountain time, 4.05 p.m., we are going to see a trine between the Sun in Libra and Mars in Gemini. And this is an energy of feeling confidence, feeling strength, um, feeling courageous because the sun, the light, our identity, our purpose, how we shine out into the world in Libra, the sign of bringing harmony and balance, fairness, justice, um, is blending well with Mars, strength, courage, action in Gemini, the thinking mind, um, information, data, logic. So this is a very kind of strengthening energy that will just help us feel like we can assert ourselves if we need to address anything in our lives. This could be a nice um, supportive energy for that. And especially because we're kind of coming off of this full moon activity a week ago. So we're in this what's called the waning moon before uh, we have another new moon. and. That time really after the full moon is about kind of, in some ways it's like sort of cleaning up the mess or shoring things up um, because the full moon has a tendency to reveal and to bring light to situations. So then the next couple of weeks after the full moon, before we begin our next new moon, we have the opportunity to kind of see where things are at and make the necessary adjustments. So this Sun Tri Mars will be a nice time for us to really um, be able to find some strength in moving forward with whatever needs to be accomplished. Then we move on to the 18th of October and this is Tuesday and at 8.20 p.m. Mountain Time we are going to get a trine between Venus and Mars. So first the Sun has done its thing with the Mars and now it's going to be Venus's turn. And Venus is at 24 degrees of Libra and again Mars is at 24 degrees of Gemini. And Venus and Mars are the relationship signs. So not only have we had the Sun in the relationship sign of Libra trining Mars, but then the next day we're having Venus in the relationship sign and Venus also rules the same sign, which is Libra, trining Mars. And again, Mars and Venus are both relationship-oriented um, energies. Venus is more the receptive energy of what brings us pleasure, uh, what our tastes are, what we like. And Mars is more of the kind of what you might describe as like the male sort of primal, like I want that kind of energy, um, whatever sort of stimulates us. So these energies are going to be blending in a harmonious way. And I think it's going to be bringing up, especially um, at this time with both the Sun and Venus in Libra and, and Venus really being exalted in this sign of Libra because it, it rules Libra, it's going to really be bringing us uh, face to face with what, what we really want at this point in relationships. And that Mars, again, will help give us a sense of, of courage and drive to really go after what it is that we, uh, that we want. So, you know, if you've been feeling, especially because that last full moon, it was in the sign of Aries of self-assertion and, and, the, and the self and the me, but it was opposite Venus conjunct the moon in the sign of Libra. So it was bringing up this polarity basically between our self and our desires and um, and our and and our desires in relationship essentially. So for a lot of people, I you know I know people who there was one person that I know basically told me that their partner said they wanted a divorce. <laughs> Another person that I know uh, told me that their friend seems to have met the love of their life. You know, so there was something at that full moon time that was 
really bringing up this need for people to self-assert full moon and Aries um, about their relationship needs, moon conjunct Venus and Libra. Um, so going back to the Venus trine Mars on this particular Tuesday coming up, that just means it's probably going to amplify what maybe was already um, initiated or revealed at the um, new moon, at the full moon time, excuse me, back on the 16th, excuse me, back on the um, 9th of October. So moving forward on Wednesday, the 19th, we're going to have a sun squared Pluto. And you can see here the sun will be at 26 degrees of Libra and Pluto is at 26 degrees of Capricorn. Now, this is a significant aspect because um, Pluto has recently gone direct. That was on the 8th of October. So it's now moving in its forward motion and Pluto deals with basically things that have been brewing in the unconscious that are that need to come to light in order to be revealed and for situations to be resolved. It rules the energy of transforming and of, you know, really, really deep change. So Pluto's back in a sense online and, and, you know, starting to kind of bring us this need really to, to move forward, to, to go through change and transformation that might need to be occurring in our lives. So this day with the sun in Libra squaring Pluto in Capricorn, again, this is the 19th Wednesday, it really could be bringing up where that Libra part of us, the sun in Libra wants to keep things pleasant and keep things diplomatic, which is important. But sometimes Libra doesn't want to go through the necessary transformation that Pluto may require because it just wants to feel, you know, it wants to feel things are good. It wants to feel okay. It wants to feel um, harmony and balance, you know. So it's important that we basically, you know, harness that energy, that energy of transformation, death and regeneration that Pluto symbolizes. And we may have to really, you know, face whatever it is that's coming up for us. And again, because it's the sun in Libra, it could be things in our relationships with others that we need to address. Um, and, you know, Pluto in Capricorn is all about transformation of power structures and what this could be bringing is, you know, some sort of need within ourselves to really find our power and stand in our power in a Sun and Libra harmonious way as we, you know, really face the dark, the shadow, the things that we haven't been wanting to really um, admit or um, reveal. All right, and then early in the morning on Thursday, which is the 20th of October, again, we're going to have this situation where first the sun has met with a planet. Previously in the week, it was Mars. Now, and then Venus met with Mars. Now it's Venus's turn to meet with Pluto after the sun has met with Pluto. And this is just going to deepen uh, the situation. So this is Venus and Libra squaring uh, Pluto, excuse me, in uh, Capricorn. And, you know, we're still going to be on the heels of that Mars trining to uh, both the Sun and Venus. So I think that will be some uh, supportive energy at this time. Uh, but again, with Venus squaring Pluto, squares are always challenges. And challenges in the sense of how we basically kind of act them out, you know, we need to um, find a way for both energies to express themselves in healthy ways, basically. And it, it's often squares are more of an internal challenge that we're dealing with. So Venus and Libra, again, Venus being very strong in the sign of Libra, feeling very um, wanting to express love and um, connect in relationship. Um, but also perhaps, you know, indulge, uh, squared Pluto, again, this energy of deep transformation 
And in Capricorn, Capricorn relates ultimately to our personal authority. So again, it just brings up this idea of the need to really um, find out what we want in the relationships that we're in and step into whatever it is that we want and really let go of what not is not working for us. That's a big part of the Plutonian lesson is to just be able to kind of drop what isn't working. It's, it doesn't have to be a fight. It doesn't have to be a battle. In order for us to find our power, it can be just simply about um, letting go, you know, and, and that actually kind of returns our power to us. Then on Saturday, the 22nd of October, we are going to have what's called um, a sun conjunct Venus, but it's considered a Kazemi because uh, the sun is basically going to outshine Venus. Venus will be behind the sun. And symbolically what that means is that kind of the, the Venus energy is being eclipsed and the solar energy is shining forth more strongly. So it's a day really when the sun in, in Libra is going to shine strongly. And just to give you an idea of some positive Libra qualities, harmony, diplomacy, equality, artistic awareness and expression, partnership, a sense of social justice, congeniality, thoughtfulness, and diplomacy. So it just is suggesting that, you know, that will be a very pivotal day where we really may be able to um, stand in our own power in that Libran way, but also uh, not be so driven by our Venusian uh, sort of desires that um, we get sort of confused about what's important to us or uh, what we really you know, want um, in our lives. So just something uh, to be aware of on that particular day. There may be um, some you know, shifts and changes that day, especially, again, how our, the sun is our identity. So it's like, how do we want to be in the world you know how do we what is our identity how do what is our purpose how do we want to shine our light in this harmonious and balanced way and on that same day mercury and saturn are going to be making a trine you have mercury here at 18 libra and saturn's at uh 18 of aquarius and so that again is a, another sort of boost of energy mercury is now direct and it's uh, also, I believe, out of its shadow at that point. So there should be quite a bit of clarity, yes, um, for us and the ability to really communicate because that's what Mercury is all about. Mercury is about the thinking mind and our logical mind. And in Libra, you know, we will want to say what we're thinking in a way that is not harmful or not um, thinking of another person in a sense, but uh, at the same time with that Saturn trining it, you know, Saturn is about our responsibilities in life and it has kind of a very austere energy to it. it it's about, um, yes, being responsible and also our, again, a personal authority. It rules the sign of Capricorn. So, this just may be an interesting day where we can figure out what the right things to do in our relationships are, you know, and, and maybe with that Saturn, it's in Aquarius and it Saturn's the old ruler of Aquarius. So, you know, that really Aquarius is about progress and moving forward. And, um, but Saturn is again about our responsibilities. So, you know, it may be about taking responsibility in how we progress and move forward, which might mean, um, well, who knows what it'll mean, but especially after that sun squared Pluto time, um, it just may mean we're moving forward in a new direction in our lives and we are, you know, the Aquarius energy just moving ahead and Saturn's helping us take the, on that 
responsibility. Um, or maybe it's about, you know, realizing what else we need to take on as far as uh, a role in our relationships that allows us to progress and move forward. Okay, and then by Sunday, the 23rd of October, Saturn will be moving direct. So just going back to that previous day aspect, with the fact that Mercury trining Saturn with Saturn stationing, almost turning direct, that really means that Saturn is kind of pulsating its energy. And, you know, Saturn in Aquarius is, Aquarius is about freedom. Aquarius is about eccentricity. So it's very possible that, you know, that will be kind of the overriding energy. You know, Saturn will be working towards its freedom in a way. Um, and then the next day, this day on the 23rd of October, we've got Saturn having gone direct very early, uh, actually at 10.07 the night before. And then Venus and the Sun both will have moved into Scorpio. And you can see that right here after the conjunction um, the day before. And this is just ushering in a whole new expression of the solar energy and of the uh, Venusian energy. And Scorpio is really all about our deep desires. It's ruled by Pluto. It's also about feeling power, um, using power through the expression of our solar light and also through our um, connections and our relationships. So to me, this is saying basically that we're really going to be feeling um, our, our power and um, we're really going to know uh, inside of ourselves, what it is we desire and what it is we want. And then to top it off, going into the next week is our uh, new moon solar eclipse at two degrees of Scorpio. So the moon's going to be coming along and it's going to be um, meeting with the sun in early Scorpio. And it's an eclipse. And an eclipse uh, always signifies change, um, big change. So I will have another video about that, but this is just a really big week that we're headed into uh, leading up to the solar eclipse. And I just think it's going to be filled with a lot of, um, a lot of understanding of ourselves and also perhaps a lot of ability to dialogue, especially in relationships about our needs and to really, uh, you know, make the moves if uh, we have to, um, you know, change anything up in our lives, especially as it relates to relationships. So thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you at the next one very soon. Take care.